real estate wholesaling. Is it a good strategy or is this strategy just for people that are getting started and don't have a lot of experience or money? Many flippers and buy and hold investors, they think that real estate wholesaling is a bad business model and a lot of them actually talk negatively about real estate wholesalers. This is a massive mistake because they're throwing out deals and throwing away tens of thousands of dollars by not having real estate wholesaling as one of the strategies they use and having that as a tool in their tool belt. Hey everyone, this channel is set up for you to make an absolute fortune real estate investing. If you are serious about your real estate journey, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on a single video that can put a million dollars or more in your pocket. everyone, my name is Zach Booth and over the last handful of years, I've made millions of dollars doing real estate wholesaling. I also flip houses and buy rentals and do lots of different strategies. But I wanna know from you in the comments below, do you think real estate wholesaling is a intelligent strategy? Um, comment below, yes or no. Many real estate investors that buy properties as rentals or buy the house to then remodel it, fix it up and sell it for a profit, they, they do marketing, they find these deals and if it doesn't fit their criteria, if it doesn't make sense for them to do the deal, they just walk away from the deal. Keep in mind that in real estate investing, one man's junk or bad deal is another man's gold treasure gem and they will definitely want a deal that one person may not wanna do. In the real estate world, you have motivated sellers that will sell for speed and convenience, but you also have motivated buyers that are hungry to do a deal. So if you find a deal that may not fit you or your business model, someone else, they may be super excited to get that deal and you could sell or pass on that opportunity for tens of thousands of dollars just as a finder's fee. That could pay for all your marketing. That could even be your whole entire business and, and all of the profits you really need to make to have financial freedom. So what is real estate wholesaling? I've said wholesaling a few times now. What real estate wholesaling is, is you find someone that wants to sell for speed and convenience. You find a house at a massive discount and you pass that opportunity on to another investor that's either gonna keep it as a rental or flip it, fix it up and flip it, right? So you have a purchase contract with the seller and you assign that purchase contract. You sell that contract to the different investor, they close on it and you basically get what's called an assignment fee, right? So it's an awesome strategy to make a profit on a deal without having to take any risk, any debt or any of those things. A professional wholesaler, someone that focuses on being able to do wholesaling, understands the importance of finding the deal. That really is 90% of the deal is finding it. A real estate wholesaler gets really good at finding discounted opportunities and going out and talking to and finding those sellers. So when you go out and talk to these sellers as a real estate wholesaler, you are going to find two types of sellers. You're gonna find a seller that wants to sell the traditional route. They're in no hurry, they don't wanna, you know, they, they're okay dealing with the hassles. They wanna squeeze as much money out as possible. And that's a great lead for an agent, a real estate agent. Even though you found it as a wholesaler, you could pass it on to an agent and still make money. The other type of seller that you're gonna find is someone that wants speed and convenience over price. They want a pawn shop for their house. Those are the deals that you can do real estate wholesaling or pick up at a massive discount, and do whatever you want with them and just make a big fat profit. Everyone do me a quick favor and go smash that like button. So one of the things that I have seen when it comes to successful real estate investors and real estate wholesalers, they understand a very simple principle. That principle is you are responsible for finding discounted opportunities. That is your business. What you do with the deal may vary and change depending on your goals as an investor and where you're at financially, as well as what are the needs of the seller. The successful real estate investors that I've met are in the business of finding people that they can help and they can serve and structure a deal that serves the seller and produces a profit. I love real estate wholesaling because I'm allowed to pass on opportunities that don't make sense for a flip or a buy and hold and I get big lump sums of cash. So it makes it easier for me to grow and to increase my marketing, increase the deals that I'm doing. And then I can build my team around that. I get to cherry pick my best deals and sell the rest.
So in summary, the reason I think real estate wholesaling should be a staple in your business, whether you're a successful flipper or a successful uh, buy and hold investor, or if that's what you're wanting to get into, you need to have real estate wholesaling in your back pocket because you could be walking away from deals that you could make tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Because when you're in the business, you will definitely generate leads. Let's say you might generate a lead for someone that's motivated to sell a trailer in a trailer park and you don't flip trailers and you don't buy and hold trailers, but someone does that. Someone specializes in that. And if you have the right buyer, you can pass those deals on for thousands of dollars, right? My biggest wholesale fee was $103,000, right? Of course I could have flipped it or whatever and made money with it, but you guys need to realize wholesaling should be a tool in your toolbox if it's not your main strategy, at least let it be a tool so you can capitalize on every deal that comes across your table. If you guys are wanting to understand more on how to do uh, real estate wholesaling, if you need a marketing system to consistently produce leads and sellers that want to sell at a discount, how to pass the opportunities on, a step-by-step -step guide, A through Z, everything real estate wholesaling, and then you want to have a mentor and a guide that can answer your questions and take your phone calls when you have a deal on the line. You will have my personal cell phone if you join my Driving for Dollars Mastering Program where I teach you how to do this, teach you what's made me millions of dollars over the last handful of years. Uh, you can go and book a call and learn more about it. Go to dfdmastery.com forward slash start now. It'll also be in the show notes, check it out. If you're anything like me, when I first started, I was very skeptical that real estate wholesaling was possible. And so I actually went out and did a challenge. I took a thousand dollars. I flew to the other side of the country with the goal to turn it into over 40 grand in 40 days doing real estate wholesaling. I blew that goal out of the water. And in 40 days, I made $93,000. And I and I show you guys step-by-step step how, how I did that. So you can go click on the link here, get full access to that challenge that I did. And you guys can see how possible it is, how much work it really is, how really you can change your life today if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Check it out. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. We'll see you in the next one.